Hi, I'm Donna Vio from the Masquerade Costumes and Quilts. And for any of you who have been following along with my free motion treadle quilting, I applaud you and I hope you're having fun like I'm having fun. I've come up with a few things that might help you out. If you have a treadle machine and you've never got it to run or you can't figure out how to start out, here's a helpful hint. On your machine, you have a hand wheel on the side. You need to turn that and watch your foot pedal moving. When you get your foot pedal level, you put your feet on it. So here's what I mean. Here's the hand wheel that you're going to turn and you always turn it towards yourself. Always. And as you're turning it, your needle will go up and down and your foot pedal will also move on the bottom. And this is what that looks like while I'm turning. As I'm turning my wheel, the foot pedal is moving up and down. So I'm going to get that foot pedal to be sort of level. And then I'm going to place my feet on it. When my feet are on it, if I push my toes down, I'll notice which way my wheel is turning. If it's turning up and away from me, then I don't want to start out that way. If I push my heels down first, and I notice the wheel coming toward me, then that's the way I want to get started. This is always confusing to everybody because if you sit down on the machine and you just start pumping away and the wheel happens to be going in the wrong direction, then you're going to not be able to sew. It'll unthread your needle or it'll mess up your bobbin. Something will happen. Here's what I'm talking about. My foot pedal is completely flat and I'm going to push on my toes a little bit. Up, oh, you can see the wheel is turning away from me. So I don't want to start by pushing on my toes. Now I'll push on my heel a little bit. You can see the wheel is turning toward me. So now that means I'm going to start by pushing on my heels first. And then I just keep the motion going. Every time I stop it's going to be different. So here I am stopped and I've got my feet sort of flat. Again, I'm going to start with my heel and when I start with my heel, look what's happening. It's moving backwards. That means it's going to unthread my bobbin. So I'm going to start with my toes first. And you can see it comes towards me. So that means I'm going to start with my toes. So that's a thing to think about when you're trying to treadle. I know there are some people out there who are treadle challenged, but if you give it enough tries and you stay at it, I'm sure you'll get your treadle running just fine. And one other thing, people are always looking for belts for these treadles. You'll find them online on eBay, on Amazon. They cost $15, $20, not much money. And if you look at them, um, they're just, it's just a piece of leather and it's held together with a staple. Here, I'll show you closely. So here it is held together by a staple. When you get it, it's going to be longer than it needs to be. So you're going to thread it around your upper wheel and around your lower wheel down there. You can see it's a red leather. And you're going to bring it back around up to the top where you can reach it. And you're going to hold the ends as close together as you can and you're going to cut off the excess. Then you need to punch a hole in the end that doesn't have one, the end that you cut. And you feed your staple through the hole and you bend it with a pair of needle nose pliers. After time and using the machine, um, your belt will become a little loose like this one is. It's time for me to tighten it. So what I have to do is take the staple out and cut it down to where the last hole was and make another hole and um, reattach it. So that's the information that should help keep you running smooth, help you get going, and help keep your machine running without slipping or skipping. I hope you get your treadle going and I hope you have some fun like I did free motion quilting on it. It's been a blast. So happy treadling from the Masquerade Costumes and Quilts. Hopefully I'll see you around. If you want some more great videos on treadle machines and what to do with them, check the description below. You'll find some links. Till next time, see ya!